Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video, and today is going to be a very special video. So, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint your skeleton gloves, or, um, like basically tactical gloves. So, for instance, here's a little example. Some of those skeleton gloves. So, I'm going to teach you how to do that. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you're going to need. So, first off, is you're going to need your pair of hands and keep in mind this could work for any any color of hand um, just depending black would look better and you know what not and stuff like that so our next thing is you're going to need a uh, a paintbrush and so this this is very optional because I'm going to show you two ways on doing this so you're going to you could either use a um, a very very fine paintbrush so I might try this one out, and then I got another um, way to show you. Let me just get it real quick. Okay, so your second option is using a toothpick, and then um, another thing you're going to need is an X-Acto blade if you're going to be using a toothpick. So here's where the X-Acto blade and the toothpick come in. So this is a way to paint finer, I guess. So basically what you want to do is just shave down your toothpick. So basically just like sharpen it and by the time you know it you'll have a really nice point to work with. Like for instance that right there you could kind of you could kind of see how sharp that is. There you go. That's a better view. And that's basically how you paint finer. And then of course you're going to need your white paint. So I'm just using um, Apple Barrow because I don't have um, this. I don't have white or just like regular standard colors in um, Cetadel. But uh, that's basically what you're going to need. So I'm going to pour some onto this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it and start showing you guys how to do it. Alright, so another thing I suggest that you guys could do is get yourself one of these, uh, one of these, uh, stoplight bricks. And that will help you out a lot. So, basically what you're going to do is you're going to stick your brush into the paint or your toothpick. However you're going to do it. And you're basically just going to paint on, uh, four smaller lines. So something like... Like this. So hopefully you guys can see that. So just basically paint on your four dots like that. Those are going to be his fingertips. And uh, since we're painting fingertips, I guess you could do that to the other side right away. This will be his thumb. So then just go ahead and paint that on right here. Okay. So, now you're going to go ahead and draw on his fingers. Or not draw and paint on. So keep in mind this could be much finer. But this one's not the best just because of the tutorial. But you guys kind of basically get the idea of it. And kind of since I'm, I like when I paint, I paint usually really close up. So I could usually paint it a lot better. For example, I'll go ahead and speed this up. For that way I could paint this other hand much nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, cut it here. And then I'll paint up the other hand. Alright guys, so basically you could kind of get your idea. And it takes practice. So as you guys can see, this was used with a brush. And this one was used with a toothpick. So like I say, toothpick would be um, more, like I would suggest a little bit more. Unless you had a finer brush. But... You know, that one, I guess, when I chose it, I thought it was going to be fine enough. But, you know, I think it turned out pretty okay. So, um, you just keep on practicing at it, and you could eventually get really good at it. So, there's your thumb right there. And this will really make your gloves, like, uh, stand out and look much nicer. And, you know, uh, definitely practice a few times. And then if it don't work, you could just simply scratch it off because it's very small. And um, you pretty much have your skeleton gloves. So um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I just want to thank you guys so much. 
for all the support you guys gave me on the uh, Q&A video. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to make sure to do that. And if you guys did watch all the way to the end of that video, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for that. And uh, that's pretty much um, it for this video. Thank you guys once again for everything, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.